mean, it's a really good question, but the answer requires you to completely suffer a disconnect between what you know in the present reality and basically what you can imagine what's going on with outside of it. Inside, you're suffering a duality, good versus evil. You're, this polarity governs everything that you see, perceive, know, and interpret it. Interpret. But if you're going to put your put your understanding outside the holosphere, there is a body politic, a body of people who are trying to figure something out. It may have something to do with the end of their civilization. Nemesis, nemesis collapsed. Inside the simulation, we had two stars in the beginning. This is all in the ancient traditions. One star burned out. When that burned out, it, it sent Earth hurling through space for 270 years, followed by Phoenix in 138-year orbits right back to Nemesis, followed by Nibiru, Nemesis X object, every 792 years on the same ecliptic. Earth, Phoenix, Nibiru, dark satellite, all still orbit Nemesis. Earth gets trapped in the soul orbit, but not where it belongs. It, it belonged around orbiting Nemesis at 23.5 degrees obliquity. The same thing as our axis. Remember the Teichus Bode Law. Mercury and Venus have 90 degree axes. The, the, planets, the planets turn at 90 degrees. Not Earth. Earth at 23.5 degrees. And so is Venus. And then Mars is almost sideways. Neptune is sideways. Uranus is at an extreme inclination, and so is Jupiter. None of the outer planets. Everything is inclined toward Nemesis. Phoenix is inclined toward Nemesis. Earth doesn't belong. Earth doesn't belong anywhere where, where, it's at, where it's presently at. This tells us that those who are those who are governing over the simulation are seeking an answer to something, uh, something about their survival. Because the simulation is about the position of Earth, or where Earth is going to be for a while, then it changes position, cataclysms that occur periodically. It's all about that. The entire simulation is based off cataclysm protocols. So if that's the case, then cataclysm and its results must be what the architects of the simulacrum are seeking. They're seeking answers on how, how are we going to survive if these are the predicates. And the predicates are Phoenix, Nibiru, Nemesis X object, uh, dark satellite, the nemesis dark star soul and they put all this in this huge simulation and they throw humans in there and humans appear fully developed as Cro-Magnon at certain times and then they get wiped out and they fully Neolithic Anunnaki and Anuna appear and it's just crazy man that our entire history the evidence is the evidence is very clear we are 100% the result of simulated holographies. Every race on this planet suddenly appeared. There was no development. Every species on this planet suddenly appeared. Whole entire species at the KT boundary were suddenly terminated. The megafauna were completely wiped out in a single day. The mound builders in North America wiped out in a single day. The civilizations of Easter Island, Tiwanaku, Yap, Yap, uh, Metallinen, North America in Michigan, the, the copper mines, all wiped out in a single day. Even their tools were found lying right there all over the ground. Easter Island, all the workshops had the tools laying out, not a single human, human skeleton found. Same thing in North America, same thing in the United Kingdom, same thing in so many different ancient civilizations. Wiped out. Where are the people? So, to answer your question, Matthew May, we are living within a computer simulation of governors who are trying to figure out how to survive when the cataclysm protocols are calling for their end, their demise. 
whoever's running the simulation is also suffering the phoenix is also suffering the nemesis x object so they've entered those into the program to see through various simulations how people will survive where they can where they can set up shop the very thing that you want to know you and jesse saltzman matthew may want to know is the same thing that people running the simulation want to know too where can we build a civilization or survive when the phoenix occurs again that's all they want to know so they run all these simulations to figure it out it's the only answer i can provide because it's the only answer that makes sense why run simulations and introduce all these cataclysm protocols if cataclysm isn't the subject of the simulation itself. So I hope that answers your question.